Hey Jet fans, come on in. Let's huddle up. Let's talk about this game with Denver. Uh, but first, okay, the Patriot game's behind us. Can we still make the playoffs? The answer is yes, we can. But we have to start with Denver. And what do we have to do? Al, well, we got to stop beating ourselves. We're making more mistakes out on the field than the opponents are making big plays against us. I mean, looking at the New England game, once again, our defense wasn't lined up a few times. I mean, Wilson's looking, where should I go? What's happening? Are there mental errors? Is it the way we're practicing? I just am not sure. But when you see the kind of mistakes that we're making, the mental mistakes, it's frustrating. How many times our DBs have to grab and hold on to people? Sure, I know you, you're taught. If they beat you now, don't give up the touchdown. Well, does this go back to poor practicing methods? Poor discipline. Are the defensive calls getting in there too late? How does Santonio Holmes, one of the best, run down the field and not know the pass is coming his way? I get so frustrated watching the errors that we make and knowing that we're beating ourselves. Sure, sometimes we're out physical. We've seen the Brickashaw Ferguson, one of the best tackles in the game, get beaten a few times. Well, that happens, but this is not happening nearly as many times as the mental errors that we make. So we've got to find a way to be more disciplined, play smarter football. Now we have Denver. Can we beat these guys? You bet we can beat these guys. We are facing a rather unique offense for professional football. Tim Tebow has helped transform that Denver bunch into a winning team. Yeah, that's right, three out of the last four. This man has these guys believing they can win. What, what, what must we do to stop them? Well, it's simple. <laughs> Execution. You bring your safeties up to stop the running game of Denver. They just ran 55 times last week, so you've got to stop the run first. We need to do that. What does that do, though, to our defensive backs? Heavy pressure. One-on-one -on -one coverage. Okay. We trust Revis, right? How about Cromartie? I'm afraid about that. If we bring our safeties up to stop the run first, we also need to apply tremendous pressure at the line of scrimmage and make penetration in case of play-action pass to get on Tebow quickly so these receivers don't have time to get too far downfield. But when you got your safeties up to stop the run, they don't have to get too far downfield. You see, if they beat the DB at the line of scrimmage and they're open for a step, they can take it another 60 yards or so. So that's going to be a tough assignment, but I do believe our defense can contain Denver. Our offense is a major key, of course, because we've got to score some points. Denver's defense is not the best in the world, but they can bring some pressure. So our offensive line up front has got to do one whale of a job blocking, and we're going to be without LaDamian Tomlinson this week. So I don't know uh, if Powell's going to be able to carry that backup load, if Joe McKnight's going to be following Sean Green or what, but it starts up front with the offensive line. We need to have the offensive line play one of the best games they can of the season. We need to have the entire team play a good game. Our special teams get back to returning the ball, blocking a little better. Folk get in rhythm again, missing the short field goal. A couple of times now, uh, we're spoiled. We liked it when he was 11 for 11, you know? Conley's been punting well, and uh, hopefully we won't have to punt much this week. This week, oh, what a unique week. Short week. Yeah, it's, it's short for Denver also, but folks, they're playing at home. They don't have to travel. I feel uh, that the NFL is messed up here because physically the body doesn't heal as quickly as you'd like it to heal. And both of these teams are being asked to play uh, after a lack of rest and rehab from the pounding they get. 
So the winner, I got to believe, is going to be the one that wants it the most as well as plays the smartest. Now, can we still make the playoffs? Are you kidding me? Yes, we can make the playoffs. We win one at a time. Seven games left. Just two of those opponents have records that are better than 500. One's the Buffalo Bills, and we beat them in their backyard. The only other team that's playing better than 500 is the Giants, and we get them down the road. So if we're good enough to be in the playoffs, we've got to prove it. You've got to prove it today with the Denver Broncos first, and you've got to do it smartly. It's the intelligent teams that execute and don't beat themselves that'll be there at the end of the season. I'll be back at you. I'll be Twittering tonight with you, and let's go Jets. This is the start of the playoff drive. Go Jets. Ready? Break! <laughs>